Why did they let me do this? Everything is exploding. Hello everybody and welcome back to Necronoms. I'm your host, Noctum Sky, your resident warlock necromancer, now with Apron, and today we're doing Dragon Salmon. So just as a reminder, in case you missed out last time, everything that I cook here on Necronoms, at least for now, is right out of this book right here. This beautiful little number right here, this is Hero's Feast, the Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. Uh, wonderful book, wonderful recipes, and yes, today we are doing an elven dish known as dragon salmon. And as you can see, I have my salmon right here. I went ahead and pre-cut it and handled it because I, sanitarily, I don't want to be touching that too much, so I'm trying to be careful with that. Also, I got some feedback from both friends and viewers that apparently I've been touching my hair too much uh, while I'm cooking, and that's not sanitary, so thanks for pointing that out. And in response, I'm gonna wear a hat now. So, I love you hair, but apparently I can't touch you while I'm cooking, so we're gonna put you up in a hat. Get it all tucked away, nice and neat. There we go, okay. So I'm going to wash my hands and then we're gonna get started. I've never bought fish from like the counter. Like this is a whole new thing for me. It was exciting, it's interesting. The best part is it doesn't smell fishy and it shouldn't. Like from what I've heard, uh, you're not supposed to be able to smell a fishy smell if like it's fresh and this is. Sprinkle it with salt and pepper. We're gonna do a little like wee sprinkle. And some fresh cracked ground pepper. Just a little bit. I want to let everyone know I have no classical training. None whatsoever. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally a guy who doesn't really cook very often. Like, I'm a cereal and mac and cheese and like whatever. I like ramen uh, kind of dude. And this is me looking at a cookbook, occasionally looking things up, and like trying my best. So bear with me, uh, you know, if there's anything that I have wrong, please correct me in the comments below for other people. I would really appreciate that. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna try my best. I will say though, I went ahead and prepped everything this time. Like I prepped, I went ahead and I, made sure that I had everything I needed as far as like prepped and ready. So I need my oil. I need to warm my oil, oil until simmering. Let's just pour that oil in there. Now, I don't exactly know how you tell when oil is simmering. I mean, I guess it just bubbles up like anything else. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, let's get the tongs for the next piece. Mmm. Get the tongs. Everything is exploding. Just gonna turn that down a little bit. Jesus. Okay, it, it's not that hot. I just got popped with it. It's not that hot. I was really worried because like popping oil is horrifying and I have heard people get really hurt. And uh, three to four minutes, eh? Oh God, there's oil everywhere. There's oil in my cookbook, there's oil on handy. Ow, there's oil on me. Okay, we're fine. Ow. Come on. Oh wait, I'm supposed to let it cook undisturbed. This cannot be right. What did I do wrong? It's medium high heat. And it said to put the oil in the skillet, which I did. Warm the oil until simmering, did that. Add the salmon flesh side down. 
I did that. And yet it exploded. I know someone out there is probably shaking their head or being like, yes, no, you should have a lid or some other thing. I don't know. I don't know these things. Uh, everything explodes. All right, I'm getting a lid. I'm not gonna put the lid on it, but I'm, I'm gonna hold the lid in front of it. Being scared. Did I do this wrong? Okay, it's also, pro ow, it's also probably for the best that I did it this way because I have two other pieces because God knows I'm gonna fuck the first two. <laughs> like it's just, it's a given, that's done. That's like cooked on this side. How do I make sure it's cooked in the middle? These are thick pieces of salmon. Why did they let me do this? Where's my lid? Gotta use a cooking shield. <laughs> Give me the fish. Give it to me. Ow. Get in there. You too. Ow, shit. Ow, <laughs> ow, it popped. I know I'm being a baby. Look, I realize I'm being a baby, but also, burns are no joke. Can I just have it? Can I just, can I have it? Mightn't I? All right. Just stop. Every, if everything could just stop for a minute. And turn, I'm just gonna turn that off. The other salmon can wait. Loosely tent with the foil. I'd say that's pretty loosely tinted. Okay, let's place it in the oven. <sighs> I don't even need these to place it in the oven, but whatever. Okay, it's been tinted loosely. Great. I feel like I should do the other pieces first. I should, I should go ahead and do them. Fine, I'll do them, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. a bunch. Okay, let's do that. I'm Look, this might be wrong. I'm just gonna sit them in there. I know the heat's not even on. I'm just gonna let them sit in there first and then I'm going to put them on the heat. Because the, the pan's already hot. Medium high. Do the same thing. The floor is so slippery because there's oil everywhere. I bet it's on the ceiling. Why? Why are you so aggressive? You're so aggressive. I hate it. Yep, look at it go. Stop, please. You're going everywhere. This is the messiest thing. I've ever cooked. Like, I, I don't cook very often. Does it tell me to put a lid on it? Am I dumb? I didn't think it did, but I'm really starting to wonder. Cause like, what do you, what, what do people do? Do you just get it everywhere? Cause that can't be right. People have to be able to cook without getting crap everywhere. This is my life now. <sighs> How are you guys? I'm stressed, I'm anxious, there's anxiety. Ah! Don't do it. Don't explode. Be cool, man. Be cool, let's be cool about this. Cool, they're being cool. Stress, anxiety, fear, fear. That's a good one for this, is fear. I feel like I'm overcooking this, really. But I'm scared to be. Oh, did you just pop grease on my camera? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's fine. The whole point of this is to try something new, you know? Maybe you mess up, 
And maybe you'll learn from my mistakes, or maybe you already know how to cook and you're just watching me do this and you're laughing your ass off, and that's valid. So let's go ahead, get this back on medium low. Back on medium low. Let's get our butter in there. Add the shallots. So, shallot. Look at that shallot. This is gonna be good. Time. A precious thing these days, really, but some of us have too much of it on our hands. Add that salt in. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. Look at that. This is gonna pop. I bet it's gonna pop. Shit, I'm throwing, pouring chicken broth on the floor. Okay. I added that wine and chicken broth. There's also, I added a tiny bit more because I didn't fill that wine all the way. So here's this. Just needed to top it off. Also, I just want to try a little bit. <laughs> yep. That's a line. Have you cooked any recipes out of this book? If you have, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And while we're here, if you want to give this video a like, and if you want to subscribe here to the Mercenaries of Mischief, you should, because I will be doing this for a while, at the bare minimum, at the least. So like, stick around if you like it. If you like me, I like me, and I like you. So you should stick around, like the video, subscribe. All right, that's... That's that. Add the butter. Oh, it smells pretty good. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so good like out of the blue. Like it smelled good before, but something changed like just now and it smells amazing. Oh my God. All right, I gotta stir that butter in, but I gotta get the salt too. I guess I could taste it. That's the other thing. I see people like taste off of the spoon they're cooking with. Is that sanitary? You know, me touching my hair is like its own thing. I, I feel like I'm throwing shade, but you know, it's like people will be like, you can't touch your hair, but I can taste off of the thing I'm cooking with, or is that just bad practice? I'm cooking for my wife and I. Like, wh that's where this stuff ends up going. I gave some of the cookies that I made uh, for Santa, other than the ones that went to Santa, obviously. I gave some of those uh, to my grandmother left those for her but outside of that this is just for me and me and my love so it is what it is um i guess yeah so let, let's be fancy here let's let it blow it a little bit i have no idea how hot this is gonna be it's very hot to answer your, my question Holy crap. Oh my God. I'm gonna cry. That's so good. And I made that. That's so good. There you have it. Oh, chives, right. Supposed to garnish it with chives, sorry. Garnish is important. We did it. We made salmon and we didn't die. So, if you'll come with me, we'll go check out what we've got here. Look, I know I said come on, but like, this is still my best place to, to do this. So, I'm gonna grab a fork. All right, everybody pray to your patron, to, you know, to your deity, uh, to yourself. Please don't let it be raw in the middle. Like, that's all I ask is that it's cooked through. Oh, it looks like it is. Oh my God, it is. It's cooked through, guys. It's cooked through. And now we're gonna try it. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna cut into it a little bit more. 
just to just to make sure how oh, it is it's cooked all the way through it is cooked all the way through guys and this stuff's amazing holy crap this the this the stuff you put on it mm. oh my god that is so good i could cry i could cry all right so that's been this episode of Necronomes, y'all. There, there's nothing much else to say other than like, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. I was terrified at points of this, but uh, you were there the whole time and I thank you from the bottom of my skeletal heart, as it were. Make sure to ring that bell so that next time a Necronoms episode comes out, you will be notified. This is absolutely worth almost dying. Absolutely. Wizards of the Coast, I'm still waiting on a sponsorship.